best graphics card for video editing. If you are experiencing lagging, dropping FPS, delay in rendering the image in real time, as well as getting a cracky video clip, or if you are facing all these problems in playing high-end games too, then you must need to spend on a dedicated graphics card. Before you pick the right graphics card for video editing, you must need to check out the system requirement of the installed software application for video editing. See this table highlighting the system requirements for Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019. For lag-free working with RAW HD or 4K video, or to create special effects, you need the best system equipped with a fast processor, higher monitor resolution, sufficient RAM, and above all, strong discrete graphics card, which is why we have rounded up a list of the best graphics card for video editing. We've tested all the current AMD and NVIDIA GPUs and ranked them in order of performance. Here are five recommended graphics cards applicable for the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Let's look into the overall best graphics card you can buy right now. NVIDIA Titan RTX Overall Best Graphics Card NVIDIA positions the Titan RTX ahead of the GeForce RTX 2080 TIE Founders Edition with an increased number of CUDA cores, texture units, tensor cores, and RT cores. Titan RTX is powered by the award-winning Turing architecture, but with every block active. That means the card boasts a GPU with 72 SMs, 4,608 CUDA cores, 576 tensor cores, 72 RT cores, 288 texture units, and 36 polymorph engines. The Titan RTX has the same base clock speed as the RTX 2080 Ti, but it has a 225 MHZ higher boost clock speed, coupled with an increased memory bus and a 66 GB higher memory bandwidth. Moreover, NVIDIA has equipped the Titan RTX with 24 GB GDDR6 VRAM, which is more than double what the RTX 2080 Ti has. This extra performance also coincides with additional 30W power consumption that brings the Titan RTX up to 280W, which is almost 100W higher than the RTX 2070 and 65W more than the GTX 1080 Ti. Titan RTX brings the power of real-time ray tracing and AI to creative applications. It also delivers the computational horsepower and memory bandwidth needed for real-time 8K video editing. Here is the benchmark of NVIDIA Titan RTX. According to NVIDIA, the Titan RTX allows editors to edit videos up to eight times faster than integrated graphics with the Adobe Premiere Pro CC NVIDIA CUDA accelerated pipeline, work with 8K RAW files natively on the timeline without pre-caching or generating proxies, create 360-degree videos with GPU accelerated immersive editing in Adobe Premiere, reason to buy, 24 gigabytes of memory is ideal for large professional and deep learning workloads. Improved tensor cores benefit inferencing performance, excellent 4K gaming frame rates, and VLink support. Attractive design, reasons to avoid, very expensive. Axial fan design exhausts a lot of heat into your case. Poor FP64 capabilities compared to the Titan 5. 4. AMD Radeon RX Vega 64. The Radeon RX Vega 64 is an excellent first showing of AMD's newest graphics cards, with NVIDIA GTX 1080 equivalent performance and the potential of so much more. AMD's reference designs for its graphics cards haven't changed dramatically since the Polaris AMD RX 480 and AMD RX 580. In fact, the biggest difference the Vega 64 brings is a slightly longer body and larger 30mm cooling fan. For the purposes of our testing, we set the AMD Radeon RX Vega 64 on its turbo mode, which elevates the graphics card into a higher power profile that eats up 30 more watts of electricity and ramps up the fans for better performance. In terms of gaming performance, the Vega 64 plays real-time strategy games like Total War Warhammer at nearly equal average and minimum frame rates. AMD's new flagship GPU also keeps in step with the NVIDIA GTX 1080 and Deus Ex Mankind Divided with even better minimum frame rates of 4K. For those who have been gripping tightly to their AMD Radeon R9 Fury X cards, the Vega 64 is the upgrade you've been holding out for. It mostly offers NVIDIA GTX 1080 equivalent performance at an ever so slightly cheaper rate. Here is the benchmark of AMD Radeon RX Vega 64. Reasons to buy. Performance generally similar to GeForce GTX 1080. 
great 1440p and basic 4K performance, great suite of software features, reasons to avoid, cooling not handled fairly, the fan does not stop and idle, high power draw, 3. AMD Radeon 7 AMD Radeon TM7, the world's first 7NM gaming graphics card. It was designed to deliver exceptional performance and amazing experiences for the latest AAA, eSports, and virtual reality titles, demanding 3D rendering and video editing applications and next-generation compute workloads. Built on the enhanced second-generation AMD Vega architecture, AMD Radeon 7 provides two times the memory bandwidth, up to 29% higher gaming performance on average, and up to 36% higher performance on average in content creation applications compared to the current top-of-the-line AMD graphics card. For gamers, AMD Radeon 7 enables maximum settings for extreme frame rates at the highest resolutions. It also provides seamless, high-refresh HDR5 gaming at 1080p, ultra-wide 1440p, and 4K, and enables next-generation photo and visual creation applications on razor-sharp, vibrant 4K monitors. It provides up to 27% higher performance in the popular open-source 3D creation application Blender 7, up to 27% higher performance in the professional video editing, color correction, and visual effects application DaVinci Resolve 158. With AMD Radeon FreeSync 13 technology, the popular, standards-based adaptive sync technology, supported by more than 550 gaming monitors, gamers can experience smooth gameplay at every level. In addition, AMD Radeon FreeSync TM2 HDR Technology 6 offers more than two times better brightness and color volume compared to sRGB14. Here is the benchmark of AMD Radeon 7. Reasons to buy. Keeps pace with NVIDIA RTX 2080. Useful extra VRAM. Runs cooler than NVIDIA RTX. Reasons to avoid. Troubling DirectX 12 performance. No crossfire support. Power hungry. 2. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti is packing 3,584 CUDA cores, 224 texture units, and 88 ROPs. It comes with just a notchless video RAM than the godlike Titan X, but the 1080 Ti's 11GB complement of GDDR5X VRAM is tuned to a faster 11GBPS. Clearly, NVIDIA is a fan of Spinal Tap, making this NVIDIA's quickest Pascal card. There is no question the NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti is a performance beast, running at a base 1480MHz frequency and 1582MHz when boosted. 4K gaming and video editing at 60fps has long been considered the holy grail of PC gaming and rendering, and the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti was the closest we came up until NVIDIA Turing launched a few years later. Getting a silky smooth gaming experience in Ultra HD will depend on which games you're trying to play though. It works efficiently and can be overclocked to boost the performance in order to get the most out of it. Sharing videos, screenshots, and customizing images with friends and game pals are very easy and exciting, especially to show them the picture quality you run on your PC while gaming. Getting to the pure performance, testing 3D Mark Fire Strike Ultra Benchmark, the GTX 1080 Ti completely demolishes its forebears by a difference of 2,000 to 4,000 points across the board. More impressively, this Ultima GeForce skips ahead of the Titan X2. Here is the benchmark of NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. Reasons to buy. Titan X equivalent gaming and video editing performance pushes the limits of Pascal. Improved cooling. Reasons to avoid. A pricey investment for most. 1. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 2080 Ti is the first card we've tested, able to deliver smooth frame rates at 4K with detail settings maxed out, something the previous generation GeForce GTX 1080 Ti couldn't quite manage. Featuring some breathtaking specs with 11 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM, 4,352 CUDA cores, and a boost clock of 1,635 MHZ. It's all thanks to NVIDIA's first ever self-implemented 90 MHZ factory overclock the GTX 2080 Ti's Halo features aren't used in many games yet, but as those come online, the Turing architecture is expected to shine even brighter. That said, NVIDIA's recent driver release unlocks ray tracing support on non-RTX cards. So, if you have a capable previous generation Pascal 10 series card, you can at least try out those snazzy lighting and shadow effects. 
Nvidia also did a good job improving the cooler on its Founders Edition version of the 2080 Ti, leading to high sustained clock speeds. That said, the higher price means this card is out of reach for the vast majority of gamers. Only those who are truly after a no-compromise, 4K gaming experience should consider this card. Both the GTX 1080 Ti and the One Step Down RTX 2080 are capable of smooth UHD gaming, providing you're willing to switch off a few settings. Here is the benchmark of NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. Reasons to buy Smooth performance of 4K with top quality settings. Improved thermal solution performance helps sustain higher GPU boost clocks. Packed with future-looking tech to accelerate next-gen games with ray tracing and AI support. Reasons to avoid The price tag is out of reach for most video editors and gamers. Dual axial fan design exhausts heat back into your case.